here a hundred years ago, these Minnesota Norwegian farm kids going to the University of Minnesota, getting put on a train, brought out here, and dumped on this beach. What an absolutely amazing experience it must have been. Out of this world, it's like going to the moon. Over there is where we find sometimes the carnivorous chitons. Botanical Beach is away from the world. I mean, it really is, you feel like you're in another world when you're here, which is, which is very neat. A woman came out from University of Minnesota named Josephine Tilden and established a marine station here. You know, this was about 1900. It's probably the most diverse, species-rich shoreline I've ever been on, and I've traveled to a lot of shorelines around the world and nothing comes close in terms of the number of different kinds of plants and animals, the richness of the, of the environment. So as an ecologist, as a marine biologist, it's pretty incomparable. And then just to be able to bring students here and totally jazz them up about it is a, is a kick, it's a privilege. We've got um, 17 students up here and they are taking a spring quarter. One third of the hours are for botany, one third for invertebrate zoology, and one third for research. Well, one of our jobs for the morning is to count every postalcia in this population that sort of runs from, there's a few outliers over there, around this point, around that point. My observation has been that more and more that these students are going to lectures, they may have a lab, the lab may in fact be partially on a computer and they don't get a lot of outdoor time and these kind of courses are just wonderful for them because it gets them out they can actually touch it feel it bring it back look at it it makes the connections it's not just some abstract paragraph or a picture in a book josephine was a phycologist a person who studies seaweed so that was the main activity they did but they would come out and they would collect and come back and they would press and they would study their life histories and identify the seaweeds there are not very many people around that look at and study seaweed, and yet it's the foundation for all these marine systems. All these animals and all the things that eat these animals here all depend upon the seaweed. That's where it starts. And to have people appreciate and understand how that foundation of this whole marine ecosystem works, to me, is really important. They come and they do marine science all day, every day, immersing themselves literally and figuratively, and it really it, it makes many of them realize they have a passion for natural science, a passion for the natural world. Uh, it sets them off on a, on a path of some kind. Josephine chose well uh, 100 and some odd years ago. This is an extraordinary place. This is probably one of the more diverse, spectacular places to study seaweeds, literally in the world. You don't get much better than this. And she, she found it. <laughs>